Here at the Big A, 5 nothing Angels as they send eight men to the plate against Kyle Gibson as we walk into our broadcast booth. I'm Victor. That is Mark. And this young lady right here is former Olympian Janet Evans, kind enough to join us. And random because we didn't, we weren't expecting you. It's a pleasure and an honor Thank to meet you, you in person. Thanks. And uh, what brings you here to the ballpark? LA 84 Foundation is what yes. I'm being told. So the LA 84 Foundation um, was begun by Peter Ubroth after the 84 games with the leftover money, which because Peter ran the game so well, there was a large surplus from the 84 games. So that money was put into our foundation and the foundation now supports youth sports throughout the Southern California region. So we, you know, teach kids how to swim, which is very, you know, near and dear to my heart. We provide soccer balls and fields and um, we, we redo fields, make things better for, for young athletes to get involved in sport. So you've been involved with this for how long? Since, since you were competing in the Olympics? Well, after I competed. After? So, yeah, I, in 84, I was 12. So right. one of the players down there tonight was like, you swam in 84? Like, That's no. what I said. Thank you, though. <laughs> but, yeah. So, someone told me that, too. I'm yeah. like, no, 84? <laughs> I was still a junior. Yeah, exactly. So um, <laughs> so I was in the stands in 84, but then I swam 88, 92, 96 and became involved with the foundation afterwards. Gotcha. I am a Southern California girl. I grew up right up the street here in Placentia. Yeah. And, I'm an Orange County girl. El Dorado High School. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. always been a great program, too. I know yeah. that over the years, coaching against them. Josh Willingham with a deep fly ball to center field. Trout's going to climb the wall. Did he get it? Don't think so. Josh Willingham with a solo home run to lead off the second. And it is 5-1. to The angel killer that is Josh Willingham, his yeah, seventh home run of the year. Every time he comes in and puts that uniform on, he seems to swing the bat and hit the ball hard and far against whoever's on the mound for the Halos. So Janet, you're saying everything has gone well as far as getting that opportunity for youth to be able to play different sports around the LA area. And you can see someone, one of the great, you, you saw some great athletes out there today throwing out the first ball, you being one yourself. That's one of the best athletes you're gonna see in all of sports, especially in baseball for Mike Trout. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's a little intimidating being down there with those guys. You know, <laughs> I'm just an old retired Olympian, right? And these are these, you know, big, big guys. Yeah, but gold medals you got, though. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I mean, everyone, I mean, I saw the reaction by a lot of the players when they saw you down there. It's, it's still got to be a big thrill for you. It is It is good. I mean, it's, I'm just a mom, right? So I have two kids, and I'm busy being a mom. But, yeah, it's it's fun. It's 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 lovely to be a, an Olympian and be able to share that and motivate and inspire others. And, you know, the Olympics hold a lot for people. You know, the Olympics mean a lot to people. So you find that people appreciate and respect Olympians. All right, we know how you got involved, but it uh our fans sitting at home listening and watching you right now want to get involved somehow. Can they participate in the program? Yes, they can contact the LA84 Foundation. We have a great website. And uh, the, what we really need are volunteers at a lot of the events. Obviously, um, you know, we, we do accept donations to help with, you know, you know the things that, that we do for all these young athletes. But um, we actually volunteer at a lot of events. We have people, you know, timing and, and you know, manning the field and, and just helping these young kids become involved in sports, which is such a legacy of the LA games because remember everyone here in LA volunteered. Yeah. Everyone was a part of it, um, especially down here in Orange County. We had a lot of events at the games here. So anyone can become involved with the foundation. Well, that was run so well, the 84 Olympics. I remember that very well out here in What's the chances of us ever getting that back again? So we are hoping to get the games back in 2024. Um, so, you know, it's it's about time that the summer games came back to the States. It's been since Atlanta in 96. Um, so 2024 would be. Kendris Morales puts a charge into one, and the Twins have gone back-to-back -back home runs here. We, we need you to go out and swim out there and I make two. It's been a pleasure talking to you. <laughs> have a great night, okay? Yeah, I can get swimming lessons at the fountain out there if anyone's yeah. interested. <laughs> Kendrys picks up his first home run of the year. His 14th game with Minnesota. All right, so 2024 is what we're shooting for. We are. We're competing against some U.S. cities first, though. Boy, a couple of mistakes we've shown already here from C.J. After getting that five-run lead in the bottom of the first, you want that shutdown inning. Not the, not the case so far. Now you talk about you know, for a swimmer, the dedication. I mean, how many hours did you have to put in? And is, is it easy to translate that into talking to use about how much you have to give of yourself to be that successful? Yeah, you know, I swam uh, six hours a day, 12 miles a day. So, yeah, youth, under, they understand it because the concept of 12 miles a day means something to them. You know, especially here in California, I say I could drive from, you know, Disneyland to Laguna Beach, right? And they get that. Um, so it does translate. But my big thing is getting kids involved in just swimming, just getting them water safe, especially here in Southern California. 
Uh, we saw Peter Ubroth just a couple of booths down and uh, everything I've heard of and read about Peter Ubroth has uh, just been incredible. Is he that incredible to be around as uh, just as a business person? He is for, a great man. He yeah. is a great man. And all of us Olympians, we still get a little like it's Peter, you know, and he, you know, in 84, no other city in the world really wanted the Olympic Games. He brought them here and he transformed the Olympic movement. We did the same thing. There was a foul ball hit in the booth over there and uh, Someone said that that's Peter Ubroth. I'm like, we both look. That's yeah. that's Peter Ubroth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he, he is. looks. There he is. looks fantastic. Yeah, he looks amazing. And it was funny. I was standing with him when he caught that ball. And Rayford Johnson, mm -hmm. the great decathlete who actually lit the cauldron in '84, was standing there too. And I went, you know, I was scared. <laughs> and Peter caught it, and Rayford got upset because you know, always the competitor, right? Rayford's right. like, I should have caught it. And I said, No, 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 no. Peter Ubroth should have caught that He's foul the ball. He's the, the commissioner. He's the former commissioner exactly. and the Olympics well, and on Olympic night. It all. Well, makes he did sense. a lot of tremendous things for baseball too when yeah. he was the commissioner. He's no one doubt. of the, the great people of all time yeah. he's just a very calming you know calm influence very you know introspective and, and is I just think he's amazing Janet we appreciate you stopping by and uh, the best of luck to the thank LA 84 you. foundation and uh, continued success thank you for having Pleasure me I'm gonna leave you. before any more home runs are scored yeah. by the twins Congratulations on a great career yes, thank yeah. you guys take care take care